I think that there is a <laughs> world in which the SEC could have the top four teams in the AP poll in the preseason. I really think that's possible. If Ole Miss has ended up at number four or something like that, maybe Texas three, and then some variation of Georgia and Alabama at one, two. I don't think that's crazy. And then you throw Mizzou in the mix. Is the SEC going to have five of the preseason top seven teams? It's, a lot of it's going to depend on the Harbaugh thing, J.J. McCarthy. Obviously, we were waiting on a decision from Quinn Ewers. Texas is going to lose a lot of pieces, so kind of TBD on that. But if you're, you're selling yourself on hope for the SEC moving forward, I think it kind of starts with realizing that the conference is set up for a lot of success next year, especially as we expand to the 12-team playoff. You know, Connor, I, I agree. I mean, I said earlier, I think Ole Miss is going to be definitely a top 10 preseason team. So does this mean going into the season, Ole Miss fans, if they don't go to a college football playoff next year, it's a disappointing season? Yes, it, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. I mean, they would have been there this year. And this is a team next year where I don't know where they're going to rank when Bill Connolly does his percentage of returning production, a great metric that is really, you know, it's, it's really indicative of improvement, year-to-year improvement. Mizzou was number two in those final rankings that he came out with in August. Kansas was the number one team. I think Michigan was top five as well. And I, I think Ole Miss is going to be really high in those rankings, but it's it's also the portal additions. I mean, they've added all SEC caliber talent in the portal with Prince Lee, Man Miel, and Juice Wells on the outside, Tyler Barron, a guy that I love, Chris Paul Jr., the linebacker from Arkansas, just dudes on dudes, Walter Nolan, former number one overall recruit. I mean, Lane has done such a tremendous job of being able to dip into the portal and get these guys. It is such a win-now team. Now, obviously, the fact that he has to beat Saban, the fact that they just got smoked against Georgia, if you're saying that you think Ole Miss is going to win a national championship, I push back on that, but I do think that it is playoff or bust for Ole Miss in 2024. They are definitely going to be the sexy offseason team. Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to hear a lot of Ole Miss in this offseason, Connor, and uh, I'm not saying it's unwarranted. Right. Helped out today by the fact that Jackson Dart officially makes yeah. it that he's coming back. Yeah, Lane uh, had said that weeks ago. Well, you know, the, the sexy team coming into this season was Florida State, and they, they I mean, they, they lived up to expect, uh, expectations. Yeah. They yeah. paid it off, but Connor, that is going to be the sexy national pick is Ole Miss. Yeah, I agree. That Last year, Florida State was my ultimate – um, good vibes team of the offseason. Ole Miss is that in a landslide this year. And look, Florida State did what it set out to do. It, it went 13-0, and and that's separate from the, the playoff discussion, but they, they did live up to that, and I saw them in that opener here in Orlando. I was like, Dang, I, I I probably should have picked them to 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 make to win the to win the ACC and go to the college football playoff. I, I don't think it's it's fair to say that Ole Miss should be you know the favorite to win the SEC or anything like that. But does Ole Miss have the upside to get to an SEC championship to make it to a college football playoff? Yes, I think those things are on the table. Despite the fact that I'll, I'll continue to bring up the sad about Lane, he was one in nineteen this year against Power Five teams that won at least nine regular season games. He got two wins in that area this year by beating LSU, by beating Penn State in the bowl game. So he's now 3-21 and 21 in that department. Make of that what you will. But, yeah, there's going to be so much buzz for Ole Miss this offseason.